Okay, uh, today is the reason to keep ourselves awake. Um, the reason that God sent Jesus Christ to us is to believe that Jesus is the Christ and through believing in him, believing the fact that Jesus is the Christ, that we may gain life through his name. And this is the reason that God has given us Christ and also given us the word. So, Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Faith comes from hearing the word of God. So continuously hear God's word. When worries comes to you, worries come to you, anxiety, whatever comes to you, uh, you could pray, but hear the words of God. Because worries are words of Satan. So hear the words of God and the message that God has proclaimed through the evangelist on that, on that week. Then faith is restored. And this was my enjoyment too. Because, you know, in a way, um, it's not so easy to continue to pray. Um, so just listen to the message and then change your thoughts. Listen to it or meditate on it. That's the reason why God has given us the word. And the person who is centering their lives upon God's word, evangelism begins. Believing, the, believing in Christ and the life movement. Life movement happens from this person. So continue to listen to God's word. But when, it, when we talk about God's word, when you look at Matthew chapter 16, I will build my church. Jesus promised. You are Peter, and on this rock, I will build my church. So rock is the foundation. Knowing the gospel and having the eyes of the gospel. So if you have the eyes of the gospel, you will not be bound and caught up by you know, people and the situation. You know, Pastor, you talked about, right? You will not be caught up by it. So if you see yourself being caught up and being influenced by people or situations and environment, that's the exact moment that you can not restore the gospel, but upgrade yourselves to have the eyes of the gospel. So you are equipping yourself with the eyes of the gospel. If you have the eyes of the gospel, that means you will also see the value of the gospel. Then you will see the value of the meetings. You will see that you will discern the value of the meetings um, different ways for the sake of evangelism. All meetings that you have are not given to you just to give you finances and you know to give you conference, but for the sake of evangelism. The reason that God sent Christ to us is for the sake of saving lives. Amen, and also. These are written, right? The reason that God has given us the Bible, God has allowed the people to be inspired by the Holy Spirit completely. And so that's why all scriptures are God-breathed. Although it is written by people, so God, God inspired them completely so that it will be written for the sake of what? Life movement. It's not about bringing people to church, increasing the number. It's about allowing the people around you to face the turning point of becoming a child of God. And that must be your purpose too. If that is not your purpose, you have to examine your spiritual state. Um, you know, always the end of the year is a great time to examine ourselves, right? So among all the things to examine, you should examine everything, of course. You should have your life going um, very, you know, 
flowingly and very, you know, smoothly, but you should examine your spiritual state. Spiritual state is what is, what motivates you? What is the picture that you're drawing? What is the center of your life? Just examine a little bit, okay? Don't, I didn't say change yourself. I said examine. Examine and then take it, take it to God. And the flow of God's word is the church. Rock is the gospel, and the church is the flow of God's word. So uh, being deceived by Satan is a good thing if you uh, focus on this. It's your opportunity to examine your spiritual state and restore your focus and not just restore. Don't make the restoration your goal, okay? God's not at that level. God doesn't just wants, wants to restore you and go back again. God's goal for you is to upgrade. Let's bless the people next to you. God is upgrading you every, every time. You have to believe in that and focus on that. That's when you'll, you'll be upgraded. Okay? Even if it's just one realization about the gospel, it will be yours eternally. It will be your thoughts eternally. Amen? So falling into trials and tribulation is a, you know, it's an it's a opportunity if, if you don't share that with others. If you fall into trials and, you know, Satan deceives you, don't share it to others. Keep it to yourself and take it to God and then... Uh, examine yourself, you know, God giving you answer. And ultimately, it's really about the eyes of the gospel. If you, if you have the eyes of the gospel, you will uh, do eternal devotion. Just like Pastor, you talked about, you know, yesterday. I want to examine you if you listen to all three lectures of uh, World Business Persons uh, Mission. I want to examine you, but God is, exa God is examining you already. So uh, uh, anyways, don't feel burdened, okay? But uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I mean as, a as a person who sees the value, I, I, sometimes I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I know you guys are busy. And, but <clears throat> it's just speechless, okay? <laughs> just... Uh, given us so much, uh, it's more than amazing what we have received in the three lectures of a uh, World Business Persons uh, Mission Conference. And that's the flow of the message. Okay? Build your church, your life upon the rock and follow God's direction. And I want to uh, challenge you guys next year. Make this your goal. I'm not expecting perfection, but make this your goal to be on the flow of the word and have the eyes of the gospel live. Catch up later. No, no, no. At that moment, challenge for it. Make plans. Um, this is the flow of world evangelism movement next year. I, I heard some of the plans of uh, world evangelism uh, alliances already, and they're setting up this transcending time and space. Live system all around the world. So get yourself prepared, live. Arrange your life, arrange it. You know, it's really about, um, you know, I, I'm blessing you. It's really about this. What's your priority? And this priority, you should see the value, which means you are experiencing answers that comes from the priority. What is the priority? For you to have the eyes of the gospel. What is a priority? For you to focus on God building you as a church. And that's the flow of the message. 
How live? Just, uh, yeah, I'm not going to write it down. Um, to have, to, for you to have this system, you got to have a platform. You got to set up your own platform, change your platform, matching this platform. When the platform is set up, platform can platform means your physical strength, your time management, your lives, all, right, all that. Um, because if you don't have the platform that enables this, then the more time goes by, the further you're gonna, you're, the further you're gonna be away, little by a little bit, because you, you, the system that you have already is not this. So little by little bit, but if you change the system of your life like this, uh, one by one, I take it, I say one by one, right? Then it's all good. Um, then rather than relying on your pastor to organize the flow for you, you will be the person who will organize the flow of the message for the disciples and workers in the church. Mm. And that's exactly how you become the partisan. You're becoming the partisan, the church. Church is the partisan of God. And you are, es you are establishing the partisans too. And that's uh, the most important thing about life movement. The most important thing about life movement is establishing the disciples. So if you are the disciple and your life is the life of disciple, then you are able to do that. Um, your finances, blessings upon your children, all these physical blessings will begin after that. Before that, the blessings will not flow. You will know that your life is tired because blessings come and go. But after your life is set up to be the church that follows God, you know, 24 hours, you're setting up that platform in you and in your life, the blessings will continue to flow. Continue. And that will impact your children the most. Because you know that you cannot make your children in the way that you want, right? The most, it will be the most. Your children will be greater evangelist, greater disciple than you. But if you don't have this, uh, you're you're gonna be a little bit of a stumbling block and obstacle for your children to be complete disciples of Christ. You will be, because your life is not the life of disciple, and that means. Your priority is something else. So your priority is your value system and your ideology and your culture, which you will teach your children naturally. So it's not too late. One by one, it's not about studying the flow. It's not. It's about leaving it, leaving the life of the church and the partisan. And children not only will learn from you, they will sense it from your back. Not from the words of your mouth, but looking at you in the back, they will, they will sense what it means to be the church upon the rock. And when they sense it, it's going to be an invisible and inaudible imprint upon them. And that imprint they will communicate with God one-on-one. -on -one. And God's going to do greater things upon them. That's what happened to me when I looked at my father. My father never tried to teach me anything. <clears throat> I saw my father's Genesis chapter 3, 6, and 11, self-centered, physical, success-centered. I saw it. But what I witnessed is that when, when, he, when he examined himself, 
he took it to God. And not only he just prayed, God give me grace and strength and waited, he changed. He changed it. He prayed until he, he was changed. And this is what's happening. This is the answer that I received this, this week. I, I, I cannot be so specific. You will confirm this in September next year. Hallelujah. September. <laughs> Something's going to happen in September and you will know. <laughs> and that was, that was the answer that happened this week. So this is the time of only right now because God has prepared your own uniqueness, your own uniqueness for world evangelism. And that's how he will recreate America, recreate all English-speaking nations, recreate Europe that's being stolen by Muslims. He's going to recreate it. God is not powerless. God is waiting for the people who can, who is in the limited concentration. Limited concentration and who is in the selective concentration. Who, which, which means who, who recognize that God has selected them to be the person of only. This is a select, I am the selected person. This is a selected time schedule, selected environment, selected situation to go into what Christ has given us. And that is the seven burdens, God's kingdom, seven journey, covenant journey, seven guideposts, the turning points, seven turning points of disciples of Christ from Mount Olive to Roman Empire evangelization. Selective concentration. God, they recognize that they are selected. This is the selected time schedules. Therefore, they themselves select concentrations. And you don't need to worry about problems and things happening. Don't worry about problems and answers and your children. Please don't worry about it. You will not. Romans chapter 8 verse 28, you know that God brings all happenings for the good. God brings all things to fulfill his absolute plan. Everything will be a testimony. You are important, and God just needs one person. One person. Don't nag at people. You just be. You live the life of only. Getting to know the seven bodies and seven journey and seven guideposts. Pray about it. Let me feel that you are praying about this. And this is the gospel. This is the level of the gospel that we are facing now. As Pastor, you said in the first service, he actually started saying that from last Saturday. Do you know that? He said that we began with Matthew chapter 16, 16. Jesus, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. We began about 34 years ago, but now... We're, we're at what? God's kingdom, covenant journey, and the turning point. One by one. If you are a Christian, you're going to enjoy this. Your life will change. Satan is trying hard. I know. Satan is trying hard for you to have other focuses, right? I pray that God will bless you to be Eternal disciple of Christ. Amen? Bless the people next to you. You are the eternal disciple of Christ. I really pray that. I really pray that because it, it didn't begin. Nothing, nothing has begun. Nothing. This one other pastor asked me um, from other language, and he was, <clears throat> he was like, oh, so how many, how many are you in the English ministry? He was like, how many are you? I'm like, um... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know, but I don't know. And I said, we didn't, evangelism didn't begin. I said, evangelism has to begin. And notice how I'm not forcing evangelism to you, because that's not how you do evangelism. 
evangelism has to begin. So I don't know how, how, many, how much time I have here, but at least I have one more year, right? <laughs> evangelism didn't begin in when Pastor Yu pioneered his church. Evangelism began after three years. Do you know that? Do you know what he did for three years? Concentration. In the very first week, he did concentration for one week, every single day. Anybody come, concentration. That was the big. <clears throat> Uniqueness begins when you find your mission. So that's why you have to continue to pray. Continue to pray until you find your own mission. Because when you find the God-given lifelong mission that you are so sure about, and God is confirming you, you're never shaken about this, that's when God starts to do does the work of missions. Missions begin. So continue to pray. 24 hours pray. Find your own method to continue to pray. Your own method. Try different methods. How can I make my prayer continue? What is the most comfortable natural system that I can have? Try exercising. What I did is I try exercise. You know, as I was running, I was like, in Korean, I was like, filling up the Holy Spirit, world, world of evangelism, you know what I mean? And that went on for like, you know, I don't know, four weeks, but uh, it just stopped. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Try. And then I tried looking for uh, places, you know, going into the mountains. And, but it takes too much time, right? Too much time. So for me, what I found and what I'm enjoying right now is I found a way to have my spiritual concentration to turn on my spiritual concentration like this on i found that way and that has to do with breathing and closing your eyes and focusing Recreation happens. We got to prepare the culture, cultural, culture reformation. We got to prepare the science reformation. And we got to prepare the education reformation. system of three courtyard system system what is a system what is the biblical system remember this okay biblical way of building system is is me, one person, me, one person, one person Joseph, one person Moses, and God attaches the team that stakes their lives. Revival, revival. Revival should happen after this. Because, you know, most people live their lives just for, you know, just going back and forth. You know, they're already recognizing that they will not be that one person. They already recognize that, you know, oh, I cannot do this. They're already limiting God's work and God's power. 
or they have their own plan and calculation that if I do this, you know, I'm going to be able to, you know, devote to God and the evangelist movement like this. You know, they have their own plans and therefore they don't have the system of God's flow of the word as the priority. Because, you know, they have their own plans and their own calculations. It's more comfortable for them to just to make their own path in their own way. Interpret God's word in their own way. Therefore, this is not uh, in the, in, in the, this is not the most important thing for them. But for me, the most important thing is not the most. For me, it, uh, evangelism and missions are not the most important thing. For me, for me, world evangelism is not the most important thing. Accurate world evangelism. If you are not interested in this and you feel like, Kichana, what's Kichana in English? Do we have to be that accurate, you know? What's Kichana like? You feel lazy? Then examine your spiritual state. If you feel lazy about this accuracy, uh, then um, <clears throat> that's exactly how much you want to control your life yourself. And that's exact, I tell you, okay? That's the exact point of Satan penetrating into you. Because Satan's message is what? You will be like God. If you are tired, if you are out of strength, God understands. Make this your standard. Not evangelism, accurate evangelism. Accurate missions, accurate work. Who decides accurate? God, amen? So you become what? Only God, only God's word. Naturally. And you, and you come, you may go back and forth about this, and, but this is the, your standard and your, the center of your heart, and you realize, my life cannot go on like this, going back and forth. And that's when you change your life. How? Pray continuously with what Christ has given to us. Pray continuously, continuously for the spirit of the triune God to, to come inside of you, come inside of your thoughts, come inside of your heart, and just conquer you to go to the path, only the path that the triune God shows to you. If he doesn't show the path, don't go. You don't go. You don't go to any path. Seven journey. And then to receive that accurate guidance that the early church disciples received. In Acts chapter 13 verse 1 through 4. They did fasting prayer because they made a resolution. Only the guidance of Holy Spirit prayer accurate door of evangelism accurate door of evangelism that's when accurate delivery of Christ happens after this door accurate delivery happens by the work of Holy Spirit What is the reason that we should keep ourselves awake? Evangelism is, is, the, is the thing that Satan is blocking. What is evangelism? Your life, your every life, everyday life is overflowing, 
with life, the life in Christ overflowing. And also, your testimony is important because according to what you are a witness for, are you a witness of fast calculations? Are you a witness of going all into networking? What you are a witness for will influence the people that you evangelize. But if you're a witness of the only and uniqueness and recreation, then God's going to attach the eternal disciple of Christ. It's very simple. God builds a system. It's all, it's all up to who you are. And what your life is built upon. Your life is the, the realistic daily life system that you live with. And when you look at the church history, and especially Book of Acts and the, uh, the age of Roman Empire and how they, uh, they were killed and persecuted. They were put to fire and, you know, but they didn't endure. It was not a problem and for 230 years. When you look at that, it looks like it looks like everyone has turned away from God, huh? It looks like everybody has fallen into foreign, you know, uh, demonic religions and ideology and New Age and the Freemasons and Muslims, right? No, 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 no. God is keeping the disciples. God never loses his disciples. He's keeping them. He's, God is protecting them. So they are the ones who remain. They remained already. They remained in the gospel. So it's about conclusion is what? It's about who goes to them, who meets with them. Who? Church upon the rock. Gates of Hades, authority of hell authority of curses, authority of Satan cannot overcome. Rock church. Make this be possible. Make your life be able to be the church upon the rock. Change, change, keep on changing. Change slowly. If you want to change slowly, change slowly, but with a solid standard. But change quickly is, is good too. So the disciples of all ages, different ages, they went all in. They went all in to what Christ has given to them. Through what? Through the actual only, limited, selective, and ones. When they went all in, God started to work in his time schedule, in his perfect time schedule, not just saving, you know, a few people around you. Not, God is not, you know, God is God. God is not a small, I don't want to even say, all out. When you go all in, God does the all out through what? uniqueness happening through you and you find your missions and it becomes missions uniqueness is a success in a way uniqueness is a conquest in a way but god is god's goal is not your success not the success of the church god's goal is to recreate the world and leave behind the system that will continue to recreate after you die, recreate culture, 
science and education and politics and economy and all that. This is the goal of God for you, and this is our future. Prepare your today. Great time, great opportunity, time of opportunity to make a resolution, right? Continue to meditate on the gospel, to have the eyes of the gospel and be the church. Okay? And, uh, Pastor, you talked about uh, people in the <clears throat> people being inside of a prayer, right? You know, um, two weeks ago, I wrote down everyone's name in our department, everyone's name in my covenant notebook, and you know, I'm praying for them. But I cannot control the people that come into my mind when I'm praying, right? But usually, the people who because I can tell if, the, if this person is, is about this or not. You know what I mean? So usually these people come into my mind. Regardless of nationality, regardless of your spiritual current condition, it's about your heart. Sometimes I see that important disciples who will do this world evangelism has Remaining wrong imprint. Remaining. And that is holding on to their ankle. <laughs> I don't know if this is the this is Korean expression. You try to go, but it, that wrong imprint is holding on to you, your ankle. Okay. Um, you cannot break that down. Just just change your life system, okay? One by one. So do the covenant notebook. Each message, covenant, my covenant. And if you just do this uh, for um, half a year, maximum, half a year, by June or July, you will already be, f be riding on the, on the top. on the top, enjoying it. Amen? Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much that you have not forsaken us, but not just that. You have made us your children. And Father, we acknowledge that you have the absolute plan for us to use us to refresh your heart and to give you all the glory that you deserve through the restoring the gospel in this age and recreating, recreating the world. Father, help us to know and realize how important we are and make the historical resolution the lifetime resolution and build it, change it slowly and thoroughly so that we can be the church upon the rock that Satan is afraid of and his demons depart everywhere we go so that we can find the eternal disciples of Christ, Father, everywhere we go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.